Hi everyone, my name is Leah if you're new here and today <clears throat> I wanted to do a video about five shocking things I learned my first week of college. Um, for those who don't know, I got accepted and now attending um, CSU LB, that's Cal State Long Beach. Um, today is Wednesday, so I still have one more um, day tomorrow and then that's the end of my week. But um, I wanted to do a video of five shocking things I've learned just in the three days. And sorry for any background noise or like bad lighting or anything. I'm actually staying in a hotel. So let's get into this video. <clears throat> the first shocking thing I had to come to realize is... Sorry if I keep looking down. I have my, my notes here. Uh, the first shocking thing was just how large, I mean very, very large class sizes are. I mean, I've always heard on TV, like, they always show those, like, um, classrooms with all the stairs going up and up, and, um, like, on movies and stuff like that, but I was shocked to realize how many people were actually going to be in the class. <clears throat> I was told, like, for, like, general education, so, like, math, science, like, your basic ones that you have to get for your degree, I heard those classes can be very large because a lot of people have to take those, however... I'm taking an economy class and a sociology class, so that is some GE for some people. But let me tell you, for my sociology class, I have 117 people in there. Um, I came from community college, I am a transfer, so I would say like the first week, we had maybe sometimes 50, and that was like a shock right there. But like as the semester went on, we would have like 30, 40 people on average. Um, so yeah, that's just like mind blowing to me. My economy class, I think we have like 130, 40 maybe. And I'm like, that's so many people in a class. It's like a shock, like seriously. Um, the second thing is to go, um, to piggyback off the first thing is how uncomfortable the seats are. Um, it also depends on your class, like if it's a lecture or whatever it may be, but for sociology and economy, those are both lecture classes. So <clears throat> how I describe it is, it's kind of like a movie theater or like airplane and how like you share the same um, armrest. That's how it is in the class. So you can imagine 117, 150 people like all stuffed in the classroom and sharing like arm armrests. And they also have like these small little circular um, little tabletop desks that come out from like right here from the side of your seat. And it's really weird because the desk is not actually where your armrest is. It's on your neighbor's armrest that you pull over and it comes in front of you like this. So <clears throat> all those people, and then you have to like, oh, excuse me, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Or bump into it or, so you can imagine like, it's very uncomfortable. The seats are uncomfortable. A lot, a lot, a lot of people. <clears throat> so you're sure you have to like grab your um, desk from your like neighbor so like you know if they're bigger or um stuff like that it's just and the desk is really really tiny like you can fit a notebook that's it like water soda you might be able to like squeeze it but if somebody comes by bumps it it's gonna fall over um so like if the, most of the belongings are gonna be on the ground um like backpack it's not like high school or anything we have like a big desk to work with it's literally like probably the size of a plate so the seats are very uncomfortable, um, sharing armrests, there's hundreds of people in certain classes, so it's just a lot. Um, <clears throat> the third thing, um, I actually met a girl in my sociology class, and she's a freshman who lives in the dorms. And she made a funny joke like, oh, I don't even know how freshman 15 is even a thing. All this walking, blah, 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 and I'm like, wow, that's true. I mean, at Long Beach, it takes you... I was told about 45 minutes from one side to the other side of campus and um, from my economy class to my sociology class it's about a 25 minute walk that's walking moderate to fast pace and it's all uphill so I'm shocked that freshman 15 is even a thing I guess for some freshmen like you know you're 18 19 whatever and you're fresh out of your house so like you eat junk food all the time you eat fast food I guess I can kind of see that, but like as much walking and uphill and stuff like that you have to do, you probably would be burning all that off. So I'm shocked to know that 
freshman 15s even a thing like my calves my legs my hips everything has been on fire and aching since monday after school and i still got another day to go um number four is i mean this may depend on the professor that you have and <clears throat> what the topic may be but um especially if you're fresh out of high school like a freshman or you haven't been to school in a very long time um classes at a university are very very fast paced um what i mean by that is <clears throat> the first day you know you're talking about the syllabus books whatever you might need today for my economy class he went straight into a lecture like i didn't even know he was talking about the the class or the subject until like i seen like two people over <clears throat> to my right like hurry up and like grab their notebook out and i'm like oh crap like <laughs> class is starting like i'm very confused about that and then it's a really really fast paced especially if you have like no prior knowledge in that topic like I said, if you're a freshman or you haven't been to school in a very long time, I can see that as being very overwhelming and, like, really shocking. Um, you're lucky if you just had, like, a class similar last semester. But, um, yeah. So it's a very fast pace. Uh, be ready to go. <laughs> and on top of it, um, my fifth and final thing is how high school, how high school and middle school some professors could be. Um, for my economy class the first day, he came in, like, didn't even introduce himself. He just abruptly came in, didn't even know he was a professor. And he was like, um, he's like, all right, everybody quiet down. And nobody knew he was a professor. So, like, people kept talking. Mind you, there's a hundred something plus people in this class. And, um, he was like, I said quiet down. Like, it was, like, very, like, taken back. Like, dude, what are we in middle school, high school? Like, it was just, like, kind of childish. And then for my sociology class, he told us, which is, you know, it's fair. Um, he said he's very old school. He told us this today. Um, he wants no phones. He's like, even if you have to send a quick text, I want everybody to walk out the class to go do that. Um, like, he doesn't want them visible on your desk, not that you have the room on your desk. And <clears throat> he's very old school, which means he likes us to take notes, pen, paper, pencil, paper, whatever. Um, no laptops whatsoever. Laptops should never be out. And <clears throat> I know it's both professors. Like I said, it's like, um, have you seen the movies where it's like rows and rows, it gets higher and higher, like in the classes, in the class. Um, they actually walk around. I mean, it's kind of good because if you're sitting way at the top, you can barely hear. But um, they like walk around to like talk, but they're also kind of see like, what are you doing? Like if you're on your laptop or whatever, whatever. So yeah all right everybody so that's the end of the video i know it was short sweet and simple um like i said i still have one more day so i might come up with like a whole other list of things that are shocking but um those are just five things that like really stood like stood out to me and it was just like i was like taken back by it um so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching remember never stop dreaming and dreamers are to do -less.